Hi, I'm Joni Patree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I'm here in front of my computer and I'm going to give you the lowdown for, of November 8th through the 14th, the second week in November, exactly where the moon is and what you can be expecting personally during this time. So let us begin. But before I do, remember you can sign up for my Patreon page through my website and here you're going to get all my information, discounts and so much new information that is personalized and it is fantastic. So check it out. Go to galacticcenter.org. While you're there, sign up for my free newsletter. And remember, if you want to study with me, I have an all online self-paced university. Go to universityofvedicastrology.com. So let's start with November 8th. This is a particularly favorite day of mine since it is my birthday. So where will the moon and the planets be on November 8th? So the moon is going to be in Virgo. It's going to just enter Virgo, actually midday, around 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And it will be in the nakshatra Uttara Falguni, which is a nakshatra of friendship. It's an easy nakshatra. It's a very creative nakshatra as well. But at this, on this day, when the moon comes into Virgo, remember it's going to be oppose Neptune. And as it opposes Neptune, make sure you're being realistic. You're being grounded. You're not being deluded by anyone or anything because it's easy to go into fantasy world when Neptune opposes the moon. Now the moon will be aligning with Venus. This makes it a very creative day, but it is still in the sign of Virgo, which can be very scrutinizing and critical. Shy away from being too critical today and be careful about what you eat and what you drink, as well as be careful what you say. You see the K2 Mars sun are in the second house from this moon. So take caution with words and realize it's from something you ate if you have indigestion. So November 9th, we still have the moon in Virgo and it will be in the nakshatra called Hasta. And hosta is to grasp and to hold on to things. And during this time, the moon is still closely aligned with Venus, which softens it and gives it a sweetness and a kindness. But still today, be cautious about what you eat. It can cause indigestion or sickness, as well as be very, very cautious about what you say. Think before you speak. November 10th, the moon is in Virgo, but it is in the nakshatra called Chitra. And this makes it the bright and shining one. So this is a time that really you can be still very creative, but there could be some anger that comes about through this day since Chitra is ruled by Mars. And when we look at Mars, Sun, K2, they're in the second house from the moon, which does still indicate problems with indigestion and eating and being very careful about what you say. But be aware that there could be some problems involving violence today, as this could create a crisis while the moon is in Chitra. November 11th. This is when the moon will go into Libra. Libra is basically the sign of balance and justice. 
the moon will begin to align with Mars. So this is a day that there could be some violence. As the moon crosses over K2, there's loss today. So be very aware that there can be some losses, there can be violence, there can be anger, and many upsets around the world. It's hard to find peace today. November 12th. This is the day right before the new moon. Now, the, it is so close to the new moon. You could practically call it the new moon today. But be aware it's a dark moon. And during the time of a dark moon, you shouldn't do anything new. It's a time to really finish up and complete any old projects. It's a time to really reflect, to go within, to be more introspective. So November 13th, we have the new moon. It happens very early in the morning, central time, around 4.30 a.m. So you're going to find that this is a time of new beginnings, new starts, as the moon comes together with the sun. But later on in the day, around... Let's see, it's going to be around 9.50 or 8 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time that we're going to have the moon go into Scorpio. So it will separate from the sun and it will be in Scorpio. This will bring new awareness to light. And I want to say that this moon will be so close to Mercury that don't overthink things. Think things through and make a decision and move on. Don't sit there and think about it to the point where you can't make your decision or your mind up today. So that, so that is where the moon is going to be in its debilitation sign. So November 14th. This is the day that the moon does align with Mercury, but it is very confusing with Mercury. There's too much mental energy going on. You're overthinking things again. So it's a time of confusion. Don't forget though that the moon is debilitated in the sign of Scorpio. And there's a lot of uh, hidden agendas. Scorpio is the sign that can deal with mistrust and jealousy. So be aware that people around you are not trusting and they may be jealous. So with that, this covers the, the second week in the month of November. So the, seven, the 8th through the 14th. And so I'll bring this to an end. And remember, if you want more information on me, want to learn about my Patreon page, go to galacticcenter.org. And if you want to study with me, go to my university website, universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.